This is... just like the place from before. Yeah. It's from my earliest memories as a child. It's exactly the same. What are you two talking about? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Wow! What a beautiful mountain! Mount Katsuragi. It's considered a holy mountain. A holy mountain? Legends say that a god lives here. Wow. Is someone waiting for us? I think so. Did you feel that? The wind stopped. Waiting for you. This is the entrance to hell. Uh oh, it's Baby Head. You wiggling worms, have you enjoyed my little tour of hell? Actually, you're a lousy guide. Have you not learned that I am not a foe to be trifled with? I just think that's the coolest. Floating around like that. I wonder how he does that. Laugh while you can, my little ones. Soon you'll be shedding tears of pain. <laughs> it must be the pillow he's sitting on. I'm sure of it. You think so? This is the last chance to plead for your lives. Anything you wish to say before you meet your deaths? Well? That pillow. Where can I get one? I will... Strip the flesh from your bones!
Guess I don't know my own strength. Anyway... He never did tell us where he bought that pillow, did he? You really wanted to know? Okay, everyone, we're here. That's Inugami Village. What is it? Is something bothering you? Huh? If you're not feeling well, let me help! I'd do anything for you! No, there's nothing wrong with me. Are you sure? Ask anything! I could be like your wife. I'll sell socks, Okay, I'll let's go already. It's Corando. I'm home. I'm glad you all could make it. I'm Saki, leader of the Inugami. This is the Fountain of Suguna. Within its holy mirror, you may see many mysterious things. It has always warned of evil omens, but days ago, oh, it began to warn of the greatest threat ever to be witnessed in this world. There is a great disturbance in the ley lines running through Japan. Some great force seeks to shake the very stars from their foundations. It is not by chance that you come to Katsuragi at this point in time. Understand? Are you Yuri? Yeah. I see. Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> it is now time to find the one that you have all been searching for.
We're strong. Raiden! Yo! Let's get back. Okay. That monster's somewhere up ahead. <laughs> it's like it's waiting for us. Are you scared? Don't be stupid. You and me both died once in Shanghai. What do I have to be afraid of now? <laughs> So you are afraid. Yeah? Yeah. When even the doctors gave up on us, it was Master that saved us. He treated us good, just like we were his own family. Even stupid me who couldn't die right. That's why we fight so hard for him. Why we're willing to die for him. Exactly. But, 
But what? Oka is different. Unlike us, she wasn't given any mechanical implants. She was the master's girlfriend reborn. He wants to have a baby with her and live like a nice, happy couple. Listen, Ian, no matter what happens to us, I want to be sure that we protect those two. Raiden... Is there something strange about wanting to do that? Mm -mm. Are you with me then? Of course. I'm right there with you. Call me? No. Is something wrong? No. I thought that I heard a voice. Just my imagination. Hmm. Is the boundary still holding? Yes. There is no need to worry. But the flow of time is different here. A few hours here is actually several days in the outside world. We can't just stay here doing nothing. Yuri and the others could arrive here at any moment. We're back, Master! Well? There is no up or down here. No front or back, either. But he's here, all right, Master. I'm certain he's here. I see. It seems that Nikolai wishes for us to enter. We may not come back alive. You understand that, don't you? Yes, yes master. master. Well, how are you feeling now? Much better. Thank you. I'm very sorry to have caused all of you so much trouble. No trouble. Thank you for saving me. We should thank you. You told us where Nikolai is. Huh? <laughs> is there something on my face? Yes. Your nose and your eyes. That's a pretty silly joke, hmm? Yes, she's always saying stuff like that. Now don't get so angry. You look so much like your father, that's all I'm saying. My father? Yes. <gasps> Did you know him? Yes. You really knew him? Yes. But how? I am his sister. Sister? Huh? <gasps> So you're Yuri's aunt? His aunt? His aunt? Huh? I heard about you from Karando. But when I first saw you, I thought my brother had come back to life <laughs> as a street urchin. Street urchin? I really want to hear all about you. But I'm afraid we don't have the time. Yeah. Finally arrived. How you doing? You okay? 
You tell me, how do I look? <laughs> You're a tough cookie, all right. <laughs> You're too late. Nikolai! That's no longer the Nikolai that you knew. <laughs> so, did you miss us? Very soon now. Destruction of this world will begin. Destruction? Yes, that's right. Destruction. The malice released in the world will soon destroy it. What are you going to do? Waste him. Be careful. His claws are poisoned with malice. There's no antidote for that. One scratch, and that's it. <laughs> I got it. It cannot be avoided. My soul has been revived. The age of mankind is coming to an end. Joy, sadness, Desire. All of it is finished now. I will usher in a glorious new future. Before you do, can I ask a favor? What do you wish, you? I wish you'd shove it. You know where.
have been ruined. I thought you forgot that. No. And now, you'll die for it. You'll die instead. Son of a...
Yuri. Alice? Gotta get in there. Huh? It won't open. Why won't it open? I gotta get in. What the hell is this? Said it. Hmm. Yuri. Where am I? The fountain of Sukune. <laughs> hey, stay still. Don't try to get up. You've been out for three days. You've got to take it easy. Three days? What about Kato? Is he dead? No. But we were the only ones who got out of there. I see. He said that if you lived, you should come to the foreigner's cemetery. Foreigner's Cemetery in Yokohama? Mm. I got it. Alive, huh? You too. And Oka? I'm sorry. It's the second time I've lost her. Love lasts for such a short time. But misery goes on and on. Now my path is an empty one. I have no love left. No dreams. Kato. Kamiyashiki. In Azabu, that's where you'll find Minister Ishimura. Now no one will get in your way. You should go and talk to him. And you? What will you do? The... Emigre Manuscript? Yes. 
I give it back to you. Hey, wait. Don't you want to see Alice again? If you follow the instructions in that book, then you can be with her again. Wait a minute. I don't know how to use magic. Roger should be able to help you. He can bring her back to life. Exactly the way I did. Y yeah, but isn't that... Yuri. From now on, I'm your enemy. Huh? This is the last time we'll ever speak as friends. What do you mean? The world as you know it will end. By my hand. If you really think that you can stop me, my old friend, bring everything you have. Unlike Nikolai and Rasputin, I won't depend upon the power of some evil god. I'll do it with my own hands. Come on, enough of the joking. This is no joke. If you want to know what my plans are, look inside that book. There isn't much time left. Kato! Farewell, my friend.
I don't know my own strength. So, you finally come. You're Ishimura, the foreign minister. I am he. I've wanted to meet you. You're Hyuga's son, aren't you? Yeah. And who has hired you to kill me? Russia? China? Nobody. Then... <coughs> why is it that you seek to take my life? Cause you're nothing but a murdering son of a bitch. <coughs> Nonsense. You're planning to use Nikolai to set off a war in Russia, aren't you? 
To protect Japan. From the West, yes, that's correct. What do you mean? Unless someone in Asia stands up to them. <laughs> the Western powers will take over here. China, Korea, and Japan all will fall. But I will not allow my beloved homeland to suffer such an ignoble destiny. That's a load of fault! Why do you have to stir up a war in Russia to do that? China capitulated, gave in to the West 100 years ago. Among all the nations of Asia, only Japan has been able to take a stand against them. But in order to successfully continue resisting, we must become bigger and stronger. We must plant the seeds of future power now on the Asian continent. And when the moment finally arrives for us to hurry, to the aid of the beleaguered Russia, it will be Japan that will become the supreme ruler of all of Eurasia. So... That's why you've done all this? Correct. Is that why you used Kato to kidnap Nikolai? It was always my firm intention to have him become the ruler of the new Russia. <laughs> That's insane! If you do that, it's gonna set off a whole new war! All wars end eventually. Suffering is merely temporary. What about all the people that will die? An unfortunate necessity, bastard. You can kill me, but my plan will not end. Someone will take my place. Hmm. Ah, no, stay in there, Kosuke. Kosuke, get away from here! Leave my grandpa alone! <sighs> Don't you dare touch my grandpa, you hear? It's out of the way! Ah! Kosuke! Please, my grandson is innocent. Don't kill him! Don't kill him! I'm begging you. Please! <laughs> Don't you dare beg for his life! What about the people you sent to kill in your name? What about the children whose lives have been snuffed out by your soldiers? How many parents have begged just like you for their children's lives? They cried and begged and pleaded for their lives! And they were killed anyway. They tried to protect their homes, and they were killed anyway. <laughs> How many people will you sacrifice for your stupid, petty ambitions? <laughs> Protecting them from the West, huh? <clears throat> well, protect this! <sighs> Doing it for your country, huh? Well, here's what I think of that! <sighs> I say you did it for yourself! <sighs> Stupid, arrogant idiot! You should rot in hell! <sighs> rot in hell! <sighs> rot in hell! Where's Yuri? Huh? Well... He's still pretty down, huh? Well... I'll see what I can do to help. Um, Roger? 
Karen, the leader of the Inugami clan was looking for you. For me, you sure? Yes. She's at the Fountain of Sukune. Uh... You couldn't kill him, huh? No. Even though you wanted to, right? Yeah. Hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. That's how it's supposed to feel. Hmm? He's lost it all. His iron soldiers, his mad scientist, Kato, Nikolai, everything. All he's got to look forward to is a short, sad life. But it's more than enough time to think over all the crimes he's committed. The thing is, even he was just doing what he thought was right. He was fighting for his country, his grandson. But what have I been fighting for? When that kid was staring at me like that, I realized I had no idea. You're fighting for Alice, are you not? I think that you are. For the world she loved so much? The future? And also you? Her dreams were very important to you. So I think that maybe you fight to try to help her dreams come true. Am I wrong? Come on. You've got to buck up. This isn't like you. No matter how much you want to, you know you can't change the past. I know that. But I can't stop. It's difficult to live a life without having any regrets. <clears throat> Yeah, I've been alive for 700 years, and I've spent most of that time regretting. <sighs> That's right, laugh. Laugh and just go on. That's the best thing to do. Then, you can look back at even the saddest things and smile. Yuri? Yeah? I'm going to bring Alice back to you. What? The emigre magic that Kato used on Olka. Many famous wizards have tried and failed. Even I have felt its dark call. However, I've always resisted its temptations. But... What is Kato planning? We simply have to find out what his intentions are. Like he said, the secret is in the book. You're going to bring the dead back to life? The two of us will. If one of us goes crazy and turns into a monster, then the other one will be forced to kill him and stop the magic. How about it? Okay. I want to do it. Good. Then let's hurry up and take off for Europe. 
I've got to prepare the tools I need in order to perform the ritual. You want to see me? So, how is he doing? He's still pretty depressed. I'm sure he will be fine soon. Oh. Yes. He is so much like my brother, inside and out. Is... is he really? You care for him, don't you? Um. Yes, I like him a lot. I thought so. Uh, a woman like me. Do you think he could ever love me? Love you? I... I mean, you'd know as his aunt. <laughs> oh, come now. Don't be silly. Of course he could love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. But what is it exactly that's worrying you? What is it, my dear? Nothing. It's just... Yes? I know that he doesn't feel the same way. Are you sure? He's still in love with Alice. Alice? His lover. She died protecting him. Oh. But I love him too. More than anything. I don't think he knows how I feel. But you do plan to fight for him. Don't you? Yes. That boy was born under a strange star. His whole life. He's been fighting with his destiny. His destiny? Yes. No matter what he does, he cannot escape. You too, Karen. You were born with a heavy destiny as well. Me too? Yes. I called you to this place because I wish to give you this. It's a photo of him, from just before he went overseas. I thought that you might like to see what he looked like as a child. Is this... Yeah, Alice's grave. I haven't been here in a while, and it's gotten so dirty. It's been over a year now. Why did you bring me here? To give you this. A cross? It belonged to my mother. <sighs> I want you to have it. Really? All of the people that I've ever loved have carried it. My mother and father. And Alice. <sighs> I guess that everyone that's carried it has died. Huh? Really? It, it's okay. You don't have to worry. It's not like it's cursed or anything. <laughs> lose my memory. Do you think all of the memories locked up in that cross will disappear too? Yuri. Karen. I want you to hold it for me. So the memories don't disappear. My mother. 
my father, Alice, and me. A part of all of us is in that cross. I know I shouldn't ask. I feel bad doing it, but... But it has to be you, Karen. I'll do it.